The program you are about to hear is fiction, science fiction. We make no guarantees, however, how long it will remain fiction. Exploring tomorrow. And now, here is your guide to these adventures of the mind, the editor of Astounding Science Fiction Magazine, John Campbell, Jr. We all believe pretty solidly that sooner or later, almost any problem you name is going to be solved. So, uh, apparently, all you'd have to do is just sort of stand by, and if you could wait, uh, it would be solved for you. Uh, I don't think that works right. There's another thing to consider. Exploring Tomorrow is presented by the Mutual Broadcasting System in cooperation with L&M, today's most exciting cigarette. L&M smokes cleaner, tastes best. Live modern, smoke modern L&M. The Kraft Foods Company, makers of delicious new Kraft jellies and preserves. And Cape Coral, a beautiful waterfront wonderland on the western coast of Florida. In a moment... John Campbell returns with the story of Time Heals. If you're like most couples, you want the retirement years to be as rewarding as any in your lives. Years to do all the things you put off while the children were growing up. Well, those years can be rewarding if you start saving now. And the simplest way to save is by joining the payroll savings plan. Here's how it works. First, decide how much you want to put aside each week. Then, this amount is automatically set aside from your paycheck each payday and put into United States savings bonds. Today, Series E bonds are better than ever because the interest rate is higher, three and a quarter percent, and because the maturity is under nine years. Now you can get more faster. So, make sure your retirement years are happy ones. Join the payroll savings plan where you work today. This message is brought to you as a public service. Animals have trouble when it's cold. Uh, Of course, they grow warm fur. Human beings have got around the problem of having to grow that fur and not being able to get rid of it in the hot weather by using clothes instead. Now, that solved that problem very neatly. Of course, it did bring in the different problem of having to make clothes and having to figure out ways of raising cotton or wool. You know, when you do solve a problem, sometimes it involves setting up a complex thing to make the solution, and that may be a tougher problem than the problem you started with. Let's consider a fellow who uh, tries walking out, out of time when he has a problem. Our last night together. Oh, I don't know, Dorothy. Not necessarily. I might come out of that time field a year from now. Or 50 years from now, when I'm old and tired and ugly, and you'll still be young. No, I think I'd rather you waited at least a century. The traditional period in Elf Hill, I believe. But, Jim... Jim, let's stop pretending to be so calm and gallant. There are only the two of us here. Let's let's just curse our luck for the vile thing it is. There's also the champagne here. Mustn't shock the champagne. I'll open the next bottle. Oh, do you have to be flip every minute, even now? Tomorrow you won't be Jim Hart, bright young advertising executive, Whit Wolf, an idol of Manhattan's more high-priced intelligentsia. Tomorrow you'll be frozen in a block of frozen time... Can't you let down the mask just for tonight? But you see, my dear, there is no mask. This is me. I dare not admit anything else. I'll get that champagne. Oh, forget my uh, my choice of music. Childish, perhaps, under the circumstances, but I'm entitled to a little melodrama, am I not? After all, this is literally a life and death proposition for me. The crypt is right at the end of this corridor, Mr. Hart. 
Pretty far underground, aren't we, Doctor? Yes, besides being way off upstate. It's in case of oh, atomic bombs, rising sea level, whatever might happen. After all, this place may have to last for century. Um, what's your trouble again, Mr. Hart? Inoperable cancer. My family physician said I'd be dead within a year. Unless a cure can be found. And that, of course, is what the crypt is for. Someday a cure will be found. Until then, you will lie here, snug, safe, unchanging, not even conscious of time passing in the outside world. Time heals all wounds, they say. And time is what we have the most of here. Ah, this is it. Just step up on that platform between those field coils. I'll flip a switch, and the next thing you know, you'll be in the future. Good enough. Uh, uh, say, uh, well, I mean, Mr. Hart, I was wondering if you have any last messages or... No. No, I said all my goodbyes yesterday, such as they were. I've had the sense to keep myself legally and emotionally unattached. Well, that should certainly give you an advantage over most of our patients up there in the future. Whatever the future is like. Good luck, Mr. Hart. Thanks. But we needn't be so theatrical. You may need luck more than I, Doctor. Hmm. Here goes, then. Goodbye. Exploring Tomorrow continues in just a moment. Hello, everybody. This is Bill Stern, and I'd like to tell you about a tropical paradise where living is so easy that I intend to settle down and stay there for the rest of my life. The name of my dream city is Cape Coral on the unspoiled western coast of Florida. Just picture 2,000 acres of high dry pine and palm land honeycombed with 50 miles of navigable waterways just teeming with fish they write books about. Boating and fishing facilities, private country club and yacht anchorage, a planned 18-hole golf course, tennis courts, and many other luxuries. You can buy a large 80 by 125-foot home site for only $990, only $20 down and $20 a month, and live here like a king on a retirement budget, or purchase now for possible profitable resale later. The complete Cape Coral story has been compiled for you in easy-to-read literature. It's yours free of charge. A postcard is all you need. Send it to me, Bill Stern. So long for now. I'll be seeing you at Cape Coral, Florida. To get your free literature, write Bill Stern, Cape Coral, Post Office Box 230, New York 18, New York. It's certainly a reasonable proposition. If a man can just step outside of time and wait, uh, sooner or later they're going to develop methods to handle the problems that are facing him at the time. Uh, they will develop cures. The advance of civilization is sure to lead to a cure of the particular problem man has. That's a simple proposition, isn't it? <laughs> All right, no. Do can do step. I reckon. What? But, but it's gone. The doctor, do you understand me? The crypt has changed. Half empty. Crumbled plaster. Old. And those two men down by the controls, what? Why, they look half oriental. They're wearing kilts. The future. What year is this? Oh, Almeric Waldorf. Yeah. What year is this? What year is this? Ah, Tob Hart. You are Tob James Hart, are you not? It so says on the record. Yes, 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 I'm James Hart. Hey, and you? I you... called... I am... am called... <laughs> Hallam Rostum Dougal. My kitman here, I, uh, I mean, he is called Walder Rostum Chang. We both belong to the Rostum Kith. Do you understand? No, no, I don't. Be calm. It are a shock, I know. It, it, lean on my arm. I never expected so suddenly. What year is it? 2837. What? 900 years. Yes. There were dark ages and upheavals. And then during interplanetary era, the... Mechanoclastic government did not wish. Ah, but 
Be assured of heart. We are friends. Can you cure me? Oh, yes. We have a quick and easy cure for your disease. A synthetic virus which attacks only cancer cells. A month or two in the hospital and you will be well again. Well, well, that's good to know. That was the whole reason for my junket after all. Nine hundred (laughs) years. I suggest we all go up to the surface now. The clinic is nearby. All right. All right. Say, uh, how how do you happen to speak my language and your friend here doesn't? Natural wise. Language changes in nine hundred years. Walder asked I should come interpret until you have learned modern speech. I am a linguist at Interkith Treaty Foundation. Most especially, I have studied the old American language. Old American. Good morning, Tofart. I am your new nurse. Well, hello there. Ah, Tofart. I didn't know that you'd already learned the present-day language. I've had several weeks with nothing else to do. Sheer desperation drove me to study it. You must relax to get well. You know, good sir. I'm sure. Sure. Sunshine, fresh air, books, music, that's it. That's all I've seen. You don't even show television programs. It was decided by the Philosophic Treaty 100 years ago that the unity of the family and hence the kith was impaired by external entertainment. I've heard that sort of thing a million times. I'm sick of it. I can't even get a smoke in this dump. Smoke? Tobacco, nicotine. Puff, 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 puff. Oh, oh. A chemipotent aerosol. No, I'm afraid, sir, that the biotech machine has not prescribed it for your case. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Well, at least you're a new face around here and a remarkably uh, pretty one. What's your name? I can't see that that's relevant, sir. Of course it is. My public name is Sarah Olaf Bronard. Well, don't be so stiff and formal. Come over here, sit down. I won't bite. Not very hard, anyway. <laughs> You're convalescing fast, I see. Oh, sure, sure. I'm practically a new man. Emphasis on man. Girl like you reminds me of that acutely. I'm afraid I don't understand. Your usage is semantically empty. Oh, Lord. Look, darling. Look, I want to get better acquainted. That's all. I'm, I'm, I'm lonesome. I shall consult the psychotechnic files, and if there's anyone registered with a compatible individuality, I will ask him to come discuss with you. Discuss with me? Well, thanks. That'll be just great. <laughs> Exploring Tomorrow continues in just a moment. This, my friends, is the modern sound in music. Swing turned into bop and bop turned into progressive jazz. Light into that live modern flavor. Live modern with the big red L&M. L&M, best taste in smoke you'll ever find. Made from the Southland's finest cigarette tobaccos. And you get that full, rich flavor coming at you through the miracle tip. Pure white inside, pure white outside. The patented filter. The patent number on every pack guarantees a more effective filter on today's L&M. L&M smokes cleaner. Tastes best. Light into that L&M flavor. You're really living when you do. Yes, it's a simple proposition that if you just wait around, they'll find a cure for your problem. The trouble with the proposition is that it's a little too simple. The other half of the proposition is they'll find other things, too. They'll find other problems to work on. They won't be interested in the type of problems you've been used to. 
Ah, Tobe Hart. It is a pleasure to see you well again. Please honor me by accepting a seat. Well, thanks, but uh, you wouldn't have anything I could really sit on, would you? I mean, mm-hmm. I can't get used to this hard, low-legged stuff you call furniture nowadays. Oh, oh, my apologies, sir. I imagine one does need a lifetime to become habituated to a complex of postures. Oh, oh well, forget it. It's a nice place you've got, uh, Tobe Allen. Oh, pardon me, sir. One friendly word of advice. It is considered rude to compliment a man on his home. Well, that's why I've come to you, Mr. Uh, Tobe Hallam. Look, you've studied the history of my own period. You may be able to help me. The rest, oh, they're, they're very polite, but I'm frozen out. I just don't fit in. Everything I do seems to offend somebody, somehow. You feel yourself isolated. Well, I, I, I made my own way in the, in the 20th century. I had friends. At least I knew a lot of people. I knew my way around. I was well-to-do. Here, I'm, I'm living on a pension out of the charity fund. I'm not invited anywhere because I don't know how to behave. Your conversations, your ceremonies bore me stiff anyway. It, it was politely explained to me that I... I haven't a good enough heredity for any kith to consider me as a marriage prospect. What, 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 what did you take me out of the crypt for? Why did you kill me if I'm to hang around here doing nothing for the rest of my life? Oh, please, please, Tobhart, relax. I beg you. Well, give me something to do. Just give me something to do. I'll prove myself. I can, I can start with some simple job, work my way up, study, learn. I'll show you what I can do if you just give me a chance. From the weather station. From the one-man crew of a weather station on the Greenland ice cap. Supply rocket once a month, and I give them all my reports. They try to make conversation, but what is there to talk about? All the snow I've been looking at. What the beautiful aurora up there in the night sky, the half a year night sky. Oh, sure. I'm sure they would discuss the aurora according to the soundest aesthetic semantics. All right, shut up, shut up, you black in the It stopped. Do you hear me? How much do all the machines in this place do anyway? How much do they know? I'm one little man among a thousand machines. How can I tell what they're thinking in those steel brain cases? All I can do is copy numbers off their dials onto a printed form and... Well, why isn't there a machine to do that, too? Why am I here at all? Jerry, sure, make work. Where's that bottle? Well, at least they have the decency to leave me some bottles. Here, here, I know I left it here. Well, why quit anyhow? Here's a snug home, ample food, books, plenty to read, plenty to drink. Man, I got it made. There's even a pretty good Tannhauser tape here somewhere. Yeah, that's me. Tannhauser. Only no green leaves will ever spring out of me. I'll sing it in German. Sure. Dead language. English is a dead language, too. I'm a dead language. Well, that's the way the civilization crumbles. Drink up, Dorothy. Here's to us. in another half an hour. But what could be wrong with him, nurse? 
Obviously some mental breakdown. Nobody seems to know just what. I think it's called a catatonic state. I don't know. He's insane, at least. The biotech at the Greenland station asked me to bring him back since I knew him best. This sort of thing isn't understood anymore. For better than a century, we've had a well-adjusted civilization. People simply don't go insane. At least not in this rather horrible fashion. <laughs> and so no one well, has any idea how to treat it. Exactly. Oh, we could try various chemicals and whatever else occurred to us. But we would be working blindly with a grave risk of damaging his brain beyond repair. So we are putting him back in the crypt. Yes. The next cycle of civilization. A thousand years from now, ten thousand, a hundred thousand years. They will know how to cure James Hart. But will he feel any more at home with them? And with us? Less, I should think. So he may break down again. So badly that even they can't cure him at that time. Then they will have to put him back in the crypt. God help him. God help us all. <laughs> John Campbell returns in just a moment. Remember how Grandma used to boil jellies and preserves on the stove in the kitchen? Mmm, what a wonderful aroma. But you know that wonderful aroma was really flavor boiling away. And lots of folks still boil flavor away when they're making jellies and preserves. Not Kraft. Kraft jellies and preserves are cool cooked at temperatures way below boiling to keep the flavor many others boil away. That's why Kraft jellies and preserves have that true fresh-picked flavor, a flavor you can add to your favorite foods. There are so many ways to use these fresh, delicious flavors, such as a mouth-watering strawberry coffee cake. It tells you how in the free recipe folder. Flavor magic for your favorite foods with Kraft jellies and preserves. Just write to Kraft jellies and preserves, Box 5310, Chicago 77, Illinois. Box 5310, Chicago 77. Do it now before you forget. And be sure to get Kraft Jellies and Preserves. Exploring Tomorrow was presented by the Mutual Broadcasting System in cooperation with L&M, today's most exciting cigarette. L&M smokes cleaner, tastes best. Live modern, smoke modern L&M. The Kraft Foods Company, makers of delicious new Kraft jellies and preserves. And Cape Coral, a beautiful waterfront wonderland on the western coast of Florida. Yes, as time goes by... Things do change, but the fundamental things apply. And the most fundamental of all, really, is you can't walk out on a problem and just let it take care of itself. By the time it gets taken care of, it's ready to take care of you, but good. Join us each Wednesday and Friday night for a fascinating adventure... In Exploring Tomorrow. Heard in our cast tonight were Lawson Zerby, Connie Lembeck, and Sam Gray. Script was by Paul Anderson. Produced and directed by Sanford Marshall here in New York. This is Mutual, the world's largest network. 